Hey guys, it's been some time since I last made a Cinema 4D tutorial. I decided to do this one because I've been getting a lot of requests about the Explode plugin and how to use it. Uh, more specifically, how I created that blowing up Apple Soldier video, which I think it was uh, number 5, Use Explosives. So what we're going to do is go over that, but before we get to that point, I'm just going to go over a few basic things about the uh, Explode plugin, what it does, and what it does not do. So, of course, you got to have it installed, so you need to install it to your plugins folder, which is inside the Cinema 4D directory. And once you do that, you can get to it by going to Plugins, Explode, or you can just, uh, basically what I've done here is I've created a uh, custom palette where I just place the command button inside the palette, along with a, a few other buttons here. Okay, so first of all, the Explode plugin is a cutter. Now I know the name can be a little misleading. Some people think that this plugin uh, makes random pieces and then just explodes them. In fact, it only cuts, it does not actually explode. The dynamic simulation is left up to the MoGraph module. So for an example, create a cube and because the MoGraph module is doing the simulating, you have to place your objects that you want to simulate inside of a MoGraph object. So in this case, I'm just going to place this inside of a fracture object. Place the cube inside. Right click on the cube, go to MoGraph, Rigid Body, hit play, and the cube falls. So as you can see, the Explode plugin does not simulate anything of a dynamic nature. That is only left up to the MoGraph stuff. Okay, so I'll just delete that now. So let's uh, talk about what the Explode plugin does and how to use it. So previously, uh, before all of these uh, volumetric cutter plugins started coming out, if you wanted to cut up an object, you had to kind of do it yourself the hard way. And to do that, let's just say you want to cut up this cube into some pieces. So we'll take the cube and we'll make it editable. We'll go to polygon mode. And right now this cube is hollow on the inside. So if I select the top polygon and delete it, you can see it's just basically an empty box. But the problem is it's paper thin. So in order to cut this up to have some thickness on the inside as though it were a solid object, what we would have to do is take the knife tool and make a loop cut here. I'm just going to make uh, two loop cuts and I'm going to do a loop selection to get rid of that. Close polygon. Okay, now you can see what I'm doing here. Basically, I'm cutting out holes and then I'm having to actually fill those back in. And then, of course, I would need to go grab the Create Polygon tool and create some polygons there and then close in the holes that I created. And of course, if you want thousands of little pieces, well, you're going to have to go in there and cut all this stuff up yourself. And that's long, tedious, and it's just, uh, it's just a pain to do it. So fortunately, we have the Explode plugin. So to do that, all we need to do is let's create a cube. And we're just going to keep this really simple right now. Create the cube and pull up the Explode plugin. Okay, so random seed right now, we can just leave that at one. That's not a problem. Number of parts, this will determine how many chunks or, or sections there's going to be inside of this uh, cube. So let's keep this kind of simple right now. So let's take this to maybe 25. Okay, the next thing we need to do is if you have a material that you want to place on the inside of this object, then you're going to need to take that material. Let's just, uh, for the sake of this, let's create one here. And we'll make this a blue. And we'll put the blue material here to the inside. Let's create another material. And let's make this one red. And the red one I'm going to place over here onto the cube. Okay, so right now the cube is red. The inside parts will be blue. 
and we want to place this inside of a fracture object. Now notice here it gives you different options. You can place it in a null object. You can place it in a cloner. Let's see here, MoGraph, cloner, matrix, and fracture. So you've got the matrix object, the null object, fracture, and cloner. And usually I like to work with fracture objects. So you click on the fracture object, parts name, don't really need to do that right now. And what we're going to do is click add. And you notice what it's done is it's created these little red, I'm going to hide this for the moment. It's created these little red thinking particle dots. And these are the thinking particles that it has created uh, to use to uh, cut to the inside of this cube. So once you have that, you can click on scatter. And actually, it's kind of misleading because scatter makes you think it's going to scatter the particles. But basically, scatter is just a, the word used for cut. So click on scatter. 25 objects created. And to get rid of those particles, you just click clear. Close out of the plugin. And notice here that uh, the first thing it did was it kept your original cube and put it inside of a null object that's been disabled called explode trash. That way, if you mess up, you can always have your original object saved. So it does that automatically for you. The next thing is it's automatically placed all 25 pieces inside of a fracture object, which is really nice. And you can see here just by highlighting the object, you can see all these little chunks that are starting to show up. So I'm going to turn off fracture object and I'm just going to grab this corner piece here and if I pull that out you can see what it's done it's actually cut and produced a volumetric uh, thickness to the inside and everything that's on the inside has been given the color blue and everything on the outside is still red so let's quickly set up some dynamics for this so I'm going to take this and move that up. I'm going to right click on the MoGraph object in this case which is the fracture object. Go to MoGraph tags rigid body and I'm going to create another cube and I'm going to kind of squeeze that down a bit. Make it a little bigger. I'm going to right click on this and since this object is not going to be moving this is a stationary or static object you don't need to place it inside of a MoGraph object. All you need to do is give it the rigid body tag and it will act as a static collision object. So we hit play and I'm going to just take that up to 300 frames. Hit play, it falls and breaks apart and there you go. And it's a little slippery right now. So we'll go to the rigid body tag for both of these and the friction I'm going to take up to 1 I'm going to take the bounce down to 0.1. And we'll play it again. And there you go. Just like that. So you can see the Explode plugin and how it's used to uh, create a volumetric thickness to the inside of your objects.